so different day um actually it's the same day different video right here um i'm gonna continue with the second shelf right here um let's look at the funkos first so that's chucky big fan of chucky you can see all the films in this collection this is alexa bliss um and that is from betty i believe from riverdale let's get that out of the way first let's start with the charlie's angels complete series box set uh, i watched this series recently i'm a big charlie's angels fan um the series is great it comes with the 2011 series as well which is okay not a big fan of this but this set is great for collectors love it love the show all right let's move these out of the way the universal classic monsters complete 30 film collection i've not seen all of them um i've seen most of the first titles in each series like the invisible man Creatures from the Black Lagoon, Mummy, Phantom of the Opera, Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman. I've not seen all of it. I say every Halloween that I'm going to watch it, but um, it just never pans out. Maybe this year I'll watch one a day for the entire of October, but I'm not going to count on it. This one is big, so I just got to get rid of it. The Chucky series, as I mentioned, I've got all of them. Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3. Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, Curse of Chucky. Child's Play 1 to 3 I really like. Bride of Chucky's okay. These two are okay as well. But it's a nice set. I know they came out with the other set, but I already had this one, so I didn't want to buy it, update it. Really wonderful Arrow release of Creepshow 2. I have Creepshow 1 as well, once we get to that. Um, Creepshow 2 is also good. Anthology series, great horror film. I don't have that many Arrow releases, but this one is quite nice. And then the Friday the 13th 8 movie collection. This comes with everything except Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday, and Jason X. But um, they have that new sh uh, Screen Factory uh, box set coming out, which I've pre-ordered. And once that comes, this will go. Uh, Cannibal Holocaust on... I'm not sure which studio released this, but uh, this is like a collector's edition. Um, I hated this film when I first saw it. I thought it was crazy because they really kill animals in this film and it's like extreme explicit content. But um, this, this, I really got it because of, of the set. It looks nice. Um, I try to watch it every Halloween as well. I mean every October as well. But this year there's so much to choose from. So many new titles. Let's get right into the titles. So here's the first one, Arrival. Um, a really good Denny Villeneuve film. Um, this one's a nice steel book. Amy Adams is fantastic in it. I think she's underrated always. And that one is great. I really like a good sci-fi. Oh yeah, let me put these on top, okay. So, The Art of Self-Defense. If you have not heard about this film, this is one of the best films of 2019. Jesse Eisenberg is fantastic in it. It's hilarious, it's so funny, um, it's so violent. It's It's such an amazing film so well written um you have to watch this film assassination nation um this was kind of a disappointment i think it's more style over substance but um it's okay i guess here's one that i really like atomic blonde this is a nice steel book um charlie theron lead film and i really liked it if they want to do a second one i'd love it i love the soundtrack of this i love the style uh the action's great I've got the entire Avengers series, uh, starting with Avengers. Um, MCU did a great job of, you know, uniting different superheroes after setting them up and putting them together in a large-scale battle. This was such a good film, and it set the trend for where the universe is going because they kept expanding, and they did Age of Ultron, which is better on a second watch. Um, first watch, I didn't like it so much, but I think it improves over time. And then we've got steelbooks of infinity war which was fantastic when i saw it in theaters loved it and it get it got you really itching and waiting for avengers endgame which was the perfect theater experience very emotional i feel like marvel could have even ended their universe with this because this was just a fantastic send-off for a few characters i think everyone has seen it now but that was amazing um baby driver edgar wright's best film for me um I'm not a big fan of this steelbook, but the film itself is amazing. This is such a great film. Very rewatchable as well. Good soundtrack as well. Soundtrack's always important. Barbarella. Um, 
this is a pretty crappy film, um, but the steelbook is fantastic. Look at that steelbook. Um, main reason I got this is I, I kind of like campy sci-fi films, and Jane Fonda's not bad to look at in this as well. Basic Instinct, not a huge fan of this, but um, Sharon Stone is classic in this. I have a few Sharon Stone films, actually. I, I do like her. That's probably why I have Basic Instinct 2, which is an abysmal bad film. But um, I kind of like the slip, and I completed the collection, I guess. Here's another co complete collection of steel books, Batman Begins. Um, great Christopher Nolan film, set up such a great trilogy with this one. The Dark Knight, which is the best one in the series. Um, Heath Ledger was fantastic as Joker in this. There's not a whole lot to say that hasn't been said about that one. Dark Knight Rises, I know a lot of people don't like this one. Um, I thought it was perfectly fine. Fantastic send off for the series. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Um, a lot of people don't like this film. I think Zack Snyder did what he could with it. It's a little dark overtone, sure, but um, I really like the introduction of Wonder Woman. I think she's like a bright highlight of this extended universe. I wanted the steelbook, couldn't find it, but I wasn't too mad because the the slip is quite nice. I like it. A lot of people do not like this film, but I love Baywatch. Um, I'm just currently watching the series. I'm on season four or five right now. Um, I thought this was a funny film, good soundtrack as well. I met Kelly Rohr back in real life like two or three times, and she's, she's just fantastic. So I was very happy to see her in that CJ Parker role being the movie um very funny film rowan atkinson is fantastic in it mr bean's always funny um i might get mr bean's holiday i don't know if that is on blu-ray maybe if it is then i will get it um but i was happy with this release because that's a funny film one of my favorite actually it is my favorite animated disney film of all time is beauty and the beast um such an amazing film amazing soundtrack uh, childhood film for me uh, i was happy that they released this is this a diamond edition or i don't know it's just Signature collection, really good. And then the live action film, which is a wonderful looking steelbook um, with Emma Watson, which I really, really liked as well. I think they did a good job of adapting the story into film. Um, and they added a little more and stuff, but I loved it. I love that film. Really good Tim Burton um, film, Beetlejuice, a uh, Halloween staple for me. Um, I really like the steelbook. I know they keep re releasing new steelbook versions of this, but I'm, I'm happy with just one. I already have two copies of this film, so. Begin Again, which is a really good uh, music drama film uh, with Keira Knightley and Mark Ruffalo. The soundtrack to this is amazing. Like, the original songs on here is amazing. I have a few on my, like, in my music library. Um, the director of this film, whose name is not written here and I don't know off the top of my head, um, also directed Sing Street, which I also have in my collection, and that is such an amazing film as well. One of my favorite directors of all time is Sofia Coppola. Um, I don't think she's ever made a bad film, and The Beguiled is another one that I really like. I'm a big fan of Kirsten Dunst and Elle Fanning, so I had to get this. Um, I think it's a pretty good remake of the Clint Eastwood film from a few years ago. Another Criterion, Bella De Jour, which is a really good Catherine Deneuve film. I'm probably messing up her name, and I apologize, but um, nice little erotic film from the 60s there. Slightly erotic. The Bench Warmers. I really liked this film when I was in high school. I thought it was funny at the time. Rewatching it, it's not really funny, but um, kind of like, why not have it, right? Better watch out. Really good um, Christmas horror themed horror film uh, with a twist. It's kind of it's kind of like dark comedy as well. Nice little twist in this film. Very fun watch. Beverly Hills Cop trilogy which came out I don't know when it came out actually Pro probably pretty recent but I got it recently and I love this series uh, one and two are my favorite uh, and three is three is not bad uh, Eddie Murphy was on a roll in the 80s that um, he couldn't really reproduce later on in his career which is unfortunate because you give me any one of his films from the 80s and I love it Beyond the Black Rainbow which is a Panos Cosmatos film uh, he also directed Mandy, which I know a lot of people love. I don't have Mandy. I'm not sure if I'll get it. Um, I don't like it as much as everyone else does, but um, Beyond the Black Rainbow is great. So much style in that film. Um, it's a glory to look, glory to look at on Blu-ray. 
Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, which is kind of non-sequel to Valley of the Dolls, which I really like. Um, this film is okay. I rewatched it recently. It's like pretty explicit. Big Eyes, which is a different type of film for Mr. Tim Burton. Um, a really good film. I I like the performance by Amy Adams and Christoph Waltz. It's based on a true story as well. Had to have the Big Lebowski in the collection. Um, it took a while for me to get this film, but um, a Coen Brothers classic, very quotable. Jeff Bridges is great in it, and I wanted a steelbook, so I'm glad to get this uh, comic edition steelbook. Another classic every film owner, film collector should own is Big Trouble in Little China. I like this slip right here. Um, classic John Carpenter, Kurt Russell. 80s film right there. This is by the director of Call Me By Your Name, which is also fantastic. This film, I love this film, A Bigger Splash. Um, look at that cast. Fantastic cast, Dakota Johnson as well. Really, really good film. I gave Margot Robbie a lot of slack when um, she she played Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. I thought it was pretty bad performance. I thought that film was just terrible anyways. But she kind of redeems herself in this one, Birds of Prey. Really enjoyable film. It's not great, uh, but it's one of the better DCEU films, I think. Um, and I would say this is actually one of the better steelbooks in my collection. I think the steelbook is amazing. The Black Dahlia, a uh, Brian De Palma film. Not one of his best, but um, a pretty good mystery based on the Black Dahlia murder. Um, I need to rewatch this being that uh, Chadwick Boseman tragically passed away recently. But uh, Black Panther, another great steelbook in my collection. Great film as well. Not many complaints about this film except the CGI looking a little ropey at times. Black Swan, I like this slip quite a lot. Um, Really great Natalie Portman performance. Darren Aronofsky did a great job with this film. He's also one of my favorite directors. I love that film. Great psychological thriller. Blade Runner, the final cut. Um, I don't know which cuts I've seen, but I've seen the final cut. And that's probably the only cut I've seen. But this is a great Ridley Scott um, sci-fi film. One of, the, one of the most well-known films, I think, ever. And then the sequel, which definitely does it justice. Um... Blade Runner 2049, amazing film by Denis Villeneuve, um, and another one front runner for best steelbook in my collection. Look at that, and I'm a huge fan of Ryan Gosling as well. That that film is just glorious to watch. Blinded by the Light, I'm a big Bruce Springsteen fan, and I like this um, little comedy based on a true story. Um, you know, I, I could identify a lot with it as well. Nice music by Bruce in this film. If you have not seen that, please watch it. Sofia Coppola film. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like this one, but uh, she can do no wrong in my book. I love the Bling Ring. Great cast. About This is about those um, Hollywood robberies that happened a few years back. But I like that film. This is one I got recently and watched recently as well. Leonardo DiCaprio and... Jimun Hansao, I know I probably said his name wrong, but they're fantastic in this film. Um, I think Leo deserved the Oscar years before The Revenant. He was great in The Revenant, but um, he's had better performances through the years that you know he didn't get really get rewarded for. But this is one of them where he's great. A really good um, surf film with Kate Bosworth from 2002, Blue Crush. There's a sequel out apparently, I have not seen it, probably won't watch it. Blue is the warmest color, another criterion in my collection. And this one is, you know, it's pretty erotic um, about a lesbian affair. Uh, Leah Sado's in this one. This is a really good film. Another good blue titled film, Blue Jasmine. Um, I, I hate Woody Allen films generally. Um, I hate him as a person as well, but this one is a great character study uh, with Kate Blanchett. And she's one of my favorite actresses, so I had to own that one. Blue Valentine depressing love story really great performances really great film uh, Ryan Gosling Michelle Williams both are great in this it is a very depressing film though my favorite director of all time is David Lynch so I have most of his work on blu-ray and Blue Velvet is one of my favorite films ever it's an absolutely amazing film I had a regular copy of this and then upgraded to the Criterion just love this film Speaking of favorites from directors, 
Oh, the, um, Blue Velvet is not my favorite from David Lynch. It's a great film, but not my favorite. But this is my favorite film from Brian De Palma, Body Double. Um, this is a Twilight Time release. Amazing film. One of the best noir um, mystery films, thriller films that I've seen ever. Amazing film. Uh, Bombshell. This is a pretty good film about the scandals that's been going on at Fox News. Um, Charlize Theron really transformed in the role into Megyn Kelly. So I think I think this was a good film. Good performances as well. Uh, debut, directing debut from Olivia Wilde, Booksmart. This is basically feels like super bad, but with you know female leads. But um, this is a really good film. Uh, very funny film. Um, I think her name is Kate Caitlin. Dever, Dever, she's a really good actress, and so is um, Be Beanie Feldstein, who is actually Jonah Hill's sister, I believe, um, which is more super bad connection, I guess. Bonnie and Clyde, um, saw this many times. Um, this is kind of a revolutionary film because this kind of ushered in a genre of, not a genre, but like the acceptance of violence in films, and there's a lot of shooting in this film as well. Um, based on a true story, really great film, beautiful digi book, Faye Dunaway classic. Boogie Nights, um, Paul Thomas Anderson film, I'm a big fan of Paul Thomas Anderson, uh, this is a really good film. For some reason I got this in the UK, but you know, it works here, so we're all good. Boys in the Hood, a film by, um, I think it's John Singleton who recently passed away. This is a really good film. I rewatched it recently. I think Ice Cube is fabulous in this, and the same with Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, really good film. I like Ice Cube as well in films. Um, I wish he did more films. The Breakfast Club, a classic, kind of like teen film, a John Hughes classic. Uh, everyone has a role to play in this film. Everyone should have seen that film. So good. Bridesmaids. Um, a puffy comedy which is very funny i like kristen wig and maya rudolph in this film the jokes always land for that one as i mentioned i'm a big kirsten dunce fan and bring it on is a film that i really enjoy she's great in it the series has some good t good um ser uh entries so all or nothing bring it on all or nothing with Hayden Panettiere is pretty good as well. I have that one as well. Um, I have the next one on the next shelf, which is going to be the next video. So stay tuned.